generation right now, who are we loving? Of course we have to jump right into the Fenty collection by Rihanna. The queen of fashion, <laughs> Rihanna is that girl. What do you, like, how do you feel about the, co like, collection? I feel like, I'm glad that it's a high-end collection. It's very expensive. I know, I know when you saw the prices, you <laughs> were like, oh, I didn't know it was gonna be, like, a legit designer collection. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely high-end. <laughs> it's definitely high-end, <laughs> which I appreciate that. Um, I feel like, a lot of times when celebrities, you know, have these collaborations or they come up with their own line, it's it's very affordable, but I feel like with Fenty, it shows that yes, I'm making a staple in fashion. Like this is a legit fashion house. I love the fact that she named it after herself, Fenty. Um, I love the fact that it's true to her. I saw, you know, the pieces from the line and I think it's very Rihanna and I think it's very trendy. I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's good for the price, I think. I don't know. I haven't touched this. So I don't know what the quality is like, <laughs> but I um, like it. I, I just think the price point is a little high because, like, Rihanna features to us, the millennials. Like, we are her customers, so of course we want to wear her her garments, and we want to we want to support her with her first line, just like we did with her beauty line. That was we were able to get. Everybody was in Sephora. Like the lines were out of the door, like because we're her consumer so but i mean we do they we do have millennials that have the coin <laughs> to buy her stuff so i mean she i think she has an avenue for everybody she has something that everybody can get now i don't know about the fancy line i mean if you have the the coins to do it <laughs> to buy to buy it and to wear it but i think that's with anything like anything designer if you have the money to get it then great but I just think it's just because it's Rihanna. Like everybody, yeah, everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. And she's like the fashion girl. So it's like all like us. Like we want to wear Rihanna. So it's like, it's kind of like unreachable to us in a way. Unless you're saving up like checks on checks on checks just to get a little Well, piece hey, if, if people love Rihanna that much and they love her collection that much, they'll gain access some kind of way. I love the aesthetic though. I love the aesthetic of her mm -hmm. garments. I think my favorite piece was the denim corset dress. Yeah, that was um, my favorite as well. She raised about that, about how she came up or developed that idea that she wanted to come up with a corset denim dress. So I thought that was like iconic because hello, denim, everything. Yeah. And then for it to be a corset dress, that's amazing. Quavo and Boohoo. Ooh. Now that, co that collaboration, it was very, millennial driven yes and i feel like it was very trendy very sporty mm -hmm. very colorful true to the boohoo customer but also showed you know kind of the migos quavo style yeah absolutely how do you feel about it i loved it it definitely gave me like festival looks mm -hmm. colorful trendy bold neon colors for the men which is great um and I remember Sex. you, yes. And I remember you um, talked about how I, like gave inspiration to the Louis Vuitton mm -hmm. um, men's collection with Virgil being the creative director. You definitely see some inspiration from that line into the Boohoo Favor. So I thought that was amazing. I, I love, love it. I love the reflective mm -hmm. um, garments that he had. And also, like, the nylon uh, material, which is really in right now. Yes. Um, he had a lot of sets, a lot of print. Mm -hmm. Very graphic. Yes. Um, I liked it. I, I liked mean, it, too. And the price point was great. Price point is Everybody great. Everybody can afford it. Um, and you know what? Like, I would love to see him, like, spearhead fashion over men. And see, like, what yeah, he can do with that. that's a good idea, actually. Because, like, you know how d the disappointment was with Fashion Over Men's collection, and how well he did with Boohoo. And it's still a disappointment. But <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> how well he did with Boohoo. Like, I wonder how he could merge with Fashion Over and make it happen for you men out there that like, are like Cardi B did. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, he could be the male Cardi B of Fashion Over. If it happens, remember you heard it first here <laughs> at the South Hill, okay? Oh my God, Baby Fat is a bitch. Can you believe that? I cannot believe it. It's like, that was such a 9-9, 2000. Like, <laughs> like, it was such a big hit back then, but it's like, I don't 
don't know. I can't. I don't know if I can see it in today's society because what we see from the collection so far is like very teeny boppy, Tina Bopper, and then it's like she merged it with Forever Twenty One. So that's like a kitty, you know, junior. See, this is how I feel about it. Now, when I first heard of this launch, I thought it was going to be kind of upgraded. Me too. And updated and appeal more to like 21 and over. Yeah. Which I mean, it kind of has some pieces that are like 21 and over, but whatever. I felt that it would be, you know, kind of different from how it was back then. But I actually saw the merchandise and felt the merchandise and, you know, saw it in the Fabric 21 store and it's very close to how it was back in the day. <laughs> like the two tops, the logo stayed the same. Uh, the diamond, I mean, well, I can't even say diamond. The rhinestone emblem on the on the skirts and the, it was, it's very dated. And it's very teeny bopper. It, it's definitely teeny bopper. I don't see any 25, yeah. 30 year old wearing this stuff. And then it was like, when she released the promo picture, she did put her children and Diddy's children in it. So maybe that was her inspiration behind the collection was her children. But like, isn't it mean like an adult now? <laughs> like, I just, I don't know. Like, I really thought it was going to be a new facelift for Baby Fat. And I just, I just knew like she was going to come back and like, boom, like really hit it hard. Do you hard. think it was smart for her to collaborate with Forever 21 with this though? I think she, like, think about it. Like, Baby Fat hasn't been a while around in a long time. So, who would really collab with that fashion house That's true. to, you know what I mean? So, it might have been a situation, like, that was a big name for her that would collaborate with her to get her out there. Maybe, let's, let's stay tuned for next season or whatever comes out after this drop. Maybe it'll develop and get better. I'm a, I have my fingers crossed for Kamora. So are we here for this? I'm, I'm not here for it. Oh, no. I'm, I'm totally not here for the <laughs> for it as, as it is I was happy, now. Yeah, as, as it is right now, I'm not. I was excited for the launch, but... I definitely was excited for the launch. Once it launched and I saw... Um, next. So we <laughs> saved the best for last. Beyonce with Adidas. How do you feel about the collaboration? I'm fine with it. I love it. I mean, I wear Adidas. Yeah. And I'm always here for anything Beyonce does. So even if she would have went to ASICS, I still would be rocking the ASICS <laughs> as well. <laughs> so so it's, it's fine with me. Absolutely. <laughs> How do you feel about the controversy, though, with her um, basically publicly talking about how with Reebok, she didn't have that cultural balance? Let's say that. Um with collaborating with them, and that's why she collaborated Adidas. with Adidas. However, Cardi B has a collaboration with Reebok. So how do you feel about that? I applaud her um, for doing that because it's very consistent with what she stands for yes. and how she's been in the media and how she's been with her shows and her music. Mm -hmm. She's all the way here for black people, black culture, mm -hmm. diversity. So it's like, if I'm gonna work with a company, I need that company to have the staff that's diverse. Yeah. So if I don't see anyone that looks like me, talks like me, acts like me, or, you know, view the, you know, is living in this world and experiencing the things that I've experienced, then I don't want, you know, I don't want to part. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> so, then, but it's so great, like, that is so, like, badass of Beyonce to yeah. be able to make that, you know, statement of, like, this ain't for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's really cool of her to actually still speak up and have that platform to represent, you know, people of color. Yeah, so I, I, I'll call her with that now. Cardi B on the other hand. So maybe with Cardi B, maybe I would say, like, let's put a positive spin on it. Maybe with Cardi B, like, after that, maybe Reebok learned a lesson and was yeah. like, hey, we have to be more diverse. And when they came to the table with Cardi, you know, they were better versed on how to move forward as far as being having a cultural balance of, you know, and then collaboration. Because I like the line with Cardi B and Reebok. What, you, what about you? It's cool. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I would wear it because, like, Re Reebok was, like, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say I want to wear it because I wear feline now and I didn't think I was going to go back to that. So I may, you know, dibble and dabble in the Reebok 
situation, but I don't know. <laughs> so we want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Do you think that they changed it with Cardi B? Are we giving Cardi B a thumbs down for working with? Reebok after Beyonce was like, mm, no ma'am. Like, how do we feel about that? We want to hear from you guys. Sound off on our comments on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching this installment of The Style Pair. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at The Style Pair. Underscore. Make sure if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you email us at thestylepair at gmail.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the most important. Of course. <laughs> Thumbs up our Facebook page. Don't forget that. At The Style Pair. At The Style Pair. <laughs> also, guys, make sure you turn on your post notifications on Instagram so you don't miss any of our posts, okay? Because we are viral. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>